Welcome to a journey into the past, where we explore a groundbreaking discovery in human evolution. In China, a cache of mysterious fossils has puzzled scientists for decades. These aren't just any fossils, they're from archaic hominins, our ancient relatives, dating back 300,000 to 100,000 years. The mystery? Their species was unknown until now. Enter professors Christopher Bay and Wu Shujie, who've proposed a name for these enigmatic beings, Homo juluensis, meaning huge head in Chinese, reflecting their most striking feature, an extraordinarily large brain even larger than ours today, with a cranial capacity between 1,700 to 1,800 cubic centimeters. Imagine a brain that's not just big, but robust, hinting at complex cognitive abilities. This proposal didn't come out of nowhere. Bei and Wu conducted a comprehensive analysis, digitally reconstructing a cranium from the Zhujiayao site, which revealed a skull that was large, low, and wide, unlike anything seen in Neanderthals, Homo erectus, or even modern humans. They compared this with other intriguing finds, like the massive skulls from Suchang and similar dental structures from sites across Asia, including a connection to the elusive Denisovans, known for their DNA still present in some of us today. But why the controversy? Some scientists argue it's too soon to name these fossils as a new species, citing a lack of genetic evidence and clear morphological distinctions from other known species like the Denisovans, who were first identified not in the field, but through DNA in a lab. The Denisovans remain a bit of a mystery due to their fragmentary remains, which complicates direct comparison. Adding to the debate, other researchers like Zijun Ni and Chris Stringer suggest these fossils might better fit with another discovery, the Dragon Man, or Homo Longi, found in Harbin, China. This skull, hidden for decades, might link these fossils to a broader Denisovan lineage, or even redefine our understanding of human evolution in Asia. Despite the debate, the naming of Homo Joluensis, if accepted, could reshape our evolutionary tree, suggesting Asia was a melting pot of diverse human ancestors. Whether Homo juluensis or Homo longi, these findings highlight the complexity and diversity of our past, reminding us that human evolution is far from straightforward. As we continue to uncover more about our ancestors, one thing is clear. The story of human evolution is still being written, with each new fossil adding a chapter to our understanding.